In this video, we're going to look at the stages of mitosis. Uh, now, technically, the mitosis has four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. But I'm also going to talk about interphase and cytokinesis, which are not technically part of mitosis, but are important steps that occur around mitosis. So firstly, what is mitosis? It's a form of cell division, so we're splitting cells, uh, that occurs in all somatic or body cells. So pretty much all the cells in the body, except for the sex cells, being the, in the ovary and testes, uh, undergo mitosis, and they do this for growth and repair, and results in the production of two identical diploid daughter cells, so two cells that are identical to the parent cell. The first stage that we're going to talk about, and as I said, it's not technically part of mitosis, but important, is interphase G. Now, interphase G is what the cell is usually doing with its life. Uh, it probably occurs for 80 to 90% of the time uh, of a cell, uh, and it, that's when it's, the DNA is uncondensed and it's going about its business, making proteins and doing all the things that cells do. During interphase S, which occurs just prior to mitosis, the DNA within the nucleus undergoes replication. So this means that each of those strands of DNA is copied exactly, creating two, uh, two times the amount of strands that you had. So for human cells, this is going from 46 strands of DNA or chromosomes to 92 chromosomes. Now we're going to get into mitosis. Now the first stage is prophase. Uh, the DNA condenses, so I said before that it was uncondensed, going about its business. For mitosis, it condenses down into the chromosomes and joins up with its sister chromatid, which is the copy that has just been made of it in that interphase S. And the area that they join at is called the centromere, which is a specific place along that chromosome strand where they join up. We then have metaphase, where the nuclear envelope dissolves and those sister chromatids line up across the equator. The other thing that happens during metaphase is the centrioles move to the poles. Uh, usually they're found together, but they split up and one goes to each pole and spindle fibers are created from those centrioles that extend through uh, the cytoplasm and attach to the centromeres on each one of those chromosomes. During anaphase, those spindle fibres then pull the chromatids towards the poles. So those chroma, uh, sister chromatids get pulled apart and dragged towards the centromeres that are at the poles by their spindle fibres. And lastly, for mitosis, we have telophase, where that nuclear envelope reforms around the chromosomes that have been pulled to each pole. So we have one nucleus in each pole within that cell. Uh, then cytokinesis starts. And the first part of cytokinesis is cleavage, and it happens during telophase. Uh, then cytokinesis proper uh, occurs after telophase, making it not technically part of mitosis, as I said before. And it is what results in having those two daughter cells. In this video, we have looked at the stages of mitosis, being prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And we've also talked about the stages around them, interphase and cytokinesis. So to put them in order, we have interphase G, which is the growth phase where nothing's really happening, or more importantly, all of the things that a cell normally does are happening. In a phase S, where DNA replication occurs. Uh, prophase, where the D, uh, chromosomes condense and line up along the equator. Metaphase, where the spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes. Anaphase, where they get pulled apart. Telophase, where the nuclear envelope reforms around those two groups of chromosomes. And cytokinesis, which splits the cell into two, ending up with two identical daughter cells. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.